Take a look at this. This is an AI web app I made that can turn any channel idea into a full beginner YouTube channel. I also made this running app that helps you train for a marathon and even this fashion app that gives you recommendations on clothes to buy. This is easier than ever before because of AI and no code. So maybe you can get your app idea up and running today without any of the technical setup. So I'm gonna show you step by step right now how I made a app for myself and three different examples apps that you can create to get the creative juices flowing. So let's get started with step number one. Go to imagica.ai. This is a new way to think and create with computers. So this is the simplest way to build an AI app. Let me just show you the demo real quick. So here's how to make an app. You enter your industry that you want to transform like finance. Here you have investment app idea that provide insights on stocks with an interface for trading just like that, creating a new app for you. And it will provide these different things that I'll show you in just a minute, where to use data, how the interface is gonna look, and then you publish the SaaS. Just like that, you have a web app that you can use and that can help other people and you can sell it and so forth. Here you can see reading Bloomberg, New York Times, Forbes, analyzing stock history, generating results for you, and there you go. Several stocks performed well, giving you some actions to do as well. So it's pretty cool. All you need to do is to get early access here, enter your email address and request early access. Use the link in the description down below. Now, once you have an account, I'm just gonna log in and here you can see all the different examples that you can make like a business app, language app, education app, music app, cooking app, wedding app. And they even have these templates that you can start from so you don't have to start all the way from scratch. Well, I'm gonna make my own app right now and I'm gonna check out a couple of these templates if I were to make, for example, an investing app. So I'm just gonna click on new project in the top and here we enter the maker space. I'm gonna make an app that essentially creates an entire YouTube channel for you. So if you just select a niche, it can create logos for you, titles for you, even the description and everything you need in order to start a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna, for example, say leaders throughout history is gonna be the input then I'm gonna click on the plus icon and here you can see there are many different functions like generate an image image search Dolly 2 Amazon chat interface stock prices even give a YouTube video or Google Play Store and all of these different things well actually all we need is some sort of chat GBT I'm gonna write create a list of 10 YouTube channel names that sound catchy and there you will just see the AI working and now it's gonna run and actually give us all these YouTube channel names. Some cool ones like Revolutionary Minds or a Master of Change could really be cool YouTube channel names. Now, what if we want to continue making our app even cooler? Then I'm gonna prompt it, write a visual logo design description, start your answer with circular logo design of, and now it has a lot of descriptions that we could use for our logo. And not only that, to make the app even better, let's click on the plus icon. Now we can write slash, click on generate an image, and it will use all of the text here to actually generate an image. But we're not only gonna do that once, we're gonna do that with all different features. So let's write slash again, click on generate photo. That's also gonna run. Let's do it one more time. Click on animation style and one last time slash and we're gonna use the cybernetic painting style. Just like that, we got four logo ideas. So then we did channel name and we did logo. Now let's go even further and make the app even cooler. So I'm gonna click on the plus again Again. So we'll prompt it, write a detailed YouTube channel description of what the channel is about, including the mission and what is in it for the viewer. Click on post. Now we have a full description that you can just copy and paste. Now to get some title ideas for our first videos, we could ask what are some of the most interesting questions we could ask about this topic that is curiosity driven. A good question usually hides a really good title. So that's why we're doing this step first. How did the upbringing and early experiences of these influential leaders shape their leadership styles? What common traits or characteristics can we identify among these leaders that contributed to their success. A lot of good questions. And then you obviously turn these 
questions, YouTube titles. There we have about 10 YouTube titles that could start your YouTube channel. Now, right in front of you, you can see the entire app. And if I wanna share this with anybody so they can use it to make their own YouTube channel, I can click on preview app. Here it says generate catchy YouTube names. I want an instant YouTube channel maker. Put your channel idea into the input and let AI spit an entire YouTube channel out for you. Now I'm gonna add content under here so it shows up when we are actually using it. So I'm gonna click on this one. So this this will come up in the app. I'm also gonna make this content show up. And on this one, I'm actually gonna click the three buttons in the top and click on horizontal scroll. So we get them in an image list. And I'm gonna do that for all of the images. Click add content, click the button, horizontal scroll. So now they will come after each other. Same with this one and same with this one as well. We'll add a channel description. So it comes on under here and we'll add the titles as well. Now I can click on done. I can click on publish. And now if I click on this link, I get to go to this YouTube channel maker and I can write any niche like, let's say I want to make a channel about the history of evolution. Click on enter. And now you will see that the AI is writing all of these different prompts that we have added to it, like a very detailed description, what it's all about, some channel names here as well. And now the images are getting AI generated to give us some simple logo ideas. And we even have the first 10 titles. So that was just the first app that I could come up with. What about if we check out some of the templates that they've already made for us? What I find the most interesting is either the business app template the running app template, and there's even a fashion app, which I think you can actually search images for different clothing and stuff. So let's take a look out of all of these three, which ones are the coolest. So this is the business app and it starts with, I want to start a craft chocolate company. Okay, then it's gonna generate a business plan where it has a bunch of goals that and objectives that you can go through, even strategies, tactics, financial projections. Wow. Then it goes into choosing a business structure and a list of potential business risk, which is incredible to get just in one prompt. When we go down, it generates one business name like Crafty Coco Confections. Then it creates a logo description and creates the actual logo. And it also creates a list of five ideal logos locations. That sounds really cool on the business app front. It really can help you in the beginning. So let's test it out ourselves. Let's uh, publish this. Let's make a business called Andy's Robotics and AI and let's see what it comes up with. The business name Andy Tech Automation. All right. Year one, revenue one million dollars. Expenses 800,000. Okay, dude. It actually gives me some great potential risks like investing in research and development. And it also wants me to start in Silicon Valley, Tokyo, Shenzhen, China, Austin, Texas, and London, England. Okay, let's check out the running app next. And the initial prompt is planned for a 25 year old female in Humboldt, California to run a marathon in three months. Okay, generate a running schedule. So here they actually get week one, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. Then week two, however many miles they want to run. Then it actually generates a meal plan. This is actually very high value as if this was done by a personal trainer, it would cost a lot more money. And even a suggestion hydration techniques. There's no way they're using Prime for this. Get some AG1. Okay, that's cool. So now they have a plan, but what happens when they go down to the bottom here, tips to stay a well-rounded runner and ideal locations to run, okay? Very cool. So first they're giving some tips, then they have list warm-up activities. So begin with a light jog, then they split the output here to get all of the different segments into different boxes essentially. And then they did a slash YouTube to give them the best link for that YouTube video, for example, try a foam roller, just like that best five minute foam roller routine you'll ever do. That's actually really convenient. I'm surprised by that. So actually, I think this could launch on the app store and literally make money because most people don't want to do this research and all of it is really done without much effort on their part. So I'm pretty surprised with this. Then I want to show off the fashion app template to see what's going on there. The user input is I'm a fan of classic styles with a modern twist. 
I love bold patterns and colors, but I also love neutral tones. I'm all about comfort and quality, so I'm always looking for pieces that last. Hair sets generate an analysis of the person based on their clothing preference. Then extract a list of five key clothing articles that match the user's analysis, include specific clothing names and colors without mentioning brands. So here they get navy blue blazer. Hey, that's a pretty cool one floral print maxi skirt okay i'm not wearing that high quality leather boots i've been looking sexy as hell then it asks extract only the exact names and the colors of the clothing articles as a list no header so here they have all the list then they split the output and then they write slash amazon that can literally give them all the different items that are searchable there. Wow, that's really cool. I can see this getting used on a lot of blogs or YouTube channels that are talking about fashion that don't really know how to promote it. Well, here you go. All of them searched right up. Even all these leather shoes, damn, okay. Yet again, another very valuable app that you can just use prompts and no code to make. So now it's up to you. What do you wanna make? Do you have an app idea that you can make for thousands to enjoy? Well, head to imagica.ai to get instant access. Comment down below if you have any ideas of what you wanna make, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.